What's going on, socialize, and welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's playoff time. Your number two seed, the Denver Nine Tails, taking on the number seven seed, the Seattle Shiny Sylveons. Both these teams, very good seasons. Yeah, not much more to say about that. We'll have to see who gets the W here. Uh, these teams play each other back in the regular season. Uh, Denver won two games to one. We'll have to see if uh, either team switched things up from then. Uh, yeah, I actually didn't see what... Uh, Seattle's team was, but they do have Santa Connor, so maybe maybe we had it right. Denver trying to figure out what they want to do here. Gonna swap out Rotom. Uh, Santa Cana could have like Rock Slide or Stone Edge. They could just try and set up Stealth Rocks here, uh, which is what they're gonna do. Gonna set up those Stealth Rocks. Uh, Santa Cana, of course, could have the Glare in this position. Uh, Denver has a couple Pokemon, Rotom and Oricorio. That are immune to the glare. There is the glare coming out. Going to paralyze Quagsire. That could be pretty annoying. Especially because Quagsire is... Oof. One of the ways uh, Seattle likes to... Try to deal with the... Um, Espothra there. With the unaware. Oracore is going to come in. We see the boost not taking any rocks. So unless um, we have a rock slide here, Santa Cana might not be able to touch the Oracorio. Gonna swap out Santa Conda, so that makes me think that they don't have the uh, anything to touch it. Ooh, going right onto the Espathra. Ooh, Opportunist, okay. Oh, Mirror Herb. Alright, so they should still have the speed boost then. Uh, this could definitely be... be tricky. For sure. On the mirror herb. Very interesting choice. So this um, sword power is already starting out at a quite a high rate. If uh, Quagsire gets a couple uh, paralysis, oh, and a big critical hit, and then a full pair. Yeah, this uh. This could easily be the game right here.
huge critical hit and uh, another full para. Yeah, just uh, not much you can do there. So uh, we're gonna see a really quick a spot for sweep here in game one. This Pokemon tr truly a menace. Even if, um, we saw how much damage that, uh, that Gigaton Hammer did. But even if a Spothra gets knocked out here, now with Tinkaton basically dead, uh, Iron Bundle is just gonna rampage here as well. So a Spothra actually doesn't get the sweep here. Very, um... Fortunate for that, but again, like I feel like Quark Drive Iron Bundle can come in here and ba basically set up shop. We'll have to see though. Uh, Seattle has the tendency to leave the bundle for last, like a true Pokemon champion here. Leaving their ace trainer in the final spot. Never mind, I have to try and get a Oracorio in here soon. Get rid of these stealth rocks now at this point. Ooh, guess the full pair. I, I was waiting. I was like, th this pause is taking, taking a little bit here. Uh, yeah, big, uh... Big paralysis here. Another thunder punch. Not enough to get Dragapult. Dragapult's gonna get the Draco off. Does take out Palmot though. Dark Pulse. That's going to knock out Dragapult. Dragapult could have a Destiny Bond here, but but I feel like Seattle's used bulkier Hound Dooms in the past, so it might not have the speed to be able to Destiny Bond. I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna go into Sandaconda. I have to see. This is a Choice Band close combat. Sandaconda pretty bulky. Ooh, it is gonna be a two hit KO though. Are we going to see a uh, sand spit? Doesn't look... Yes, we do see the sand spit. Okay. It's 
Shadow again, the weaving bundle in the back. Keeping things interesting. For sure. Close combat knocks out Santa Conda. There's the bundle. All right, the bundle is in. The bundle is now. There's um, not much more to say about that. Not Quark Drive though, okay. Oh, they're gonna Terrasalize as well. Uh, we've seen Terra Fairy be popular. Oh, Terra Fire, okay, interesting. Interesting terrestrialization choice here. No quark drive though, so does that mean that their uh, specs or scarf or they went for terrestrialization like really early here, right off the bat? I mean, the flamigo is uh, defensive terrestrialization. Let's see, do they survive the ice beam? No, they get knocked out from the ice beam. Even the resist, uh, huge stuff there. I'm just curious if that is, um, specs there. I don't even know what that is. Modest specs? That, that is just... That's just damage. I'm gonna hound you. I'm doing uh, nothing.
the roar. The roar attack. Really doing everything to stop this Oric Wario. For sure. More rocks, Chip. I don't think Rotom's going to be able to survive another one. Get a critical hit there on the Houndoom. Or if we're able to survive there. This time they get the defog off. I'll get rid of the rocks. I'm doing with the roar again. Oh, a berry. Jeez, Louise. Destiny Bond. Well, I guess that does the same thing. Game number one going to Seattle here. A really crazy game. I gotta see what what was Earthworm the last one. I, I I honestly wasn't paying attention. Probably isn't because they never brought it out. Yeah, they brought like everything though to stop Oracorio on a uh, Denver side. Oh, it's Lorantis. All right, my bad. My bad, yo. Let's see, can I change that? Lorantis never coming out. I, I think since they've picked up Earthworm, I, I don't, maybe they brought one game. Um, I really don't know. Palmot here.
Oh, Palma with the Ice Punch. Scarf Palma as well. There's some nasty stuff. Did we know that from earlier with the Thunder Punch? We probably did. Santa Connor could be a pretty easy switch in here for Seattle. So that's going to take that Volt Switch. Now, again, we think the Santa Con has nothing to touch the Oracorio. But uh, there's a lot of other things that can uh, touch the uh, Oracorio. And mess up its day. Oh, the Santa Claus is staying in this time. There's a Stone Edge, so it does have something. Uh, not, not too much though. Santa kind of swapping out here. Going into Hound Doom. Terrasal Edition or Corio does some good damage on the Hound Doom. And it outspeeds too, so it's gonna get the knockout here from the looks of it. The so Hound Doom goes down. Remember, did have to use their Terrasalization though. Pretty early. Palmot's gonna come out. Uh, Thunder Punch. Seems likely here.
a big U-turn. Another berry. Lorant is staying in there. That's nutty. That's some uh, straight nutty stuff. What what could Lorantis have? Look for the leaf play. That's crazy. I've seen some crazy things in my life, and and that's crazy. Bundle out, Tinkaton comes out with the Assault Vest. Pretty sure I'm not going to do much here. Oh, the Terrestrialization. But, right, we, we're confirmed their choice specs, right? So, <laughs> I'm not, not picking up what's uh, being put down here. Unless they're fishing for the freeze. Seems like a, uh, oh no, they're not even specs. Wow, that, how much damage does this fucking thing do? My god. They, even that doesn't do much to, to Tinkaton, surprisingly. What item is this? I, I'm curious. But I feel like that damage it did in game one was ridiculous. Tinkaton goes down. Palmot's out. I'm running all around because I'm alone. My kids are screaming.
Like that, it gets the toxic off. Will it be enough here? Magzai has to stall off enough turns to let this toxic do its thing. Bopper's gonna try and boost up as much as it can. Get stored power to as high a level as they can. The sand though, working alongside the toxic. Tags are looking for some defense drops too with these liquidations. and starting to rack up. Espathra up to plus seven. But if they're going to keep roosting, I, I don't know if that's the way to go because this poison is going to keep racking up. Uh, they're not getting more boost with Calm Mind. Here's Sword Power. We'll see how much this does. Ooh, that did some big damage, though. Will the poison be enough? And the poison does take out a Spothra. So Denver, coming back here in game number two. Evening it up. Man, I still want to know what item is that iron bundle? Well, we're going to get a game three here between these teams. Similar to what we saw during regular season. Seattle taking game one. And Denver claw their way back. Ready again. Scarf Parma, tru truly a, a thread, um, at, at least early on, we, we saw how much damage it did to the Dragapult. Uh, but Dragapult, without the Quark Drive on Iron Bundle, just has a really nice speed tier. Again, it's only that uh, Parma. Leading off with Houndoom.
Big terrestrialization here. Another Terra Water into Surf. We should do some big damage. We saw how much Orcorio did. Yeah, so that's some big damage there. Gonna proc the berry. Dark Pulse, not enough for a two hit KO. Houndoom could have Sucker Punch, but it shouldn't be enough to knock out Dragapult. Denver with some early terrestrializations. I'm just gonna swap out. Going into Lurantis here. with the swap out going in the Rotom here's the Leaf Blade no crit this time could see a swap into Santa Conda uh, look, looks like Denver is trying to play around that and he's going right for the overheat there's the Santa Conda now, this overheat did huge damage last time. Oh, but it misses this time. Huge miss there. He's gonna go for it again, though. He's gonna try and get some big damage off. That's what we see there. Stone. Oh, but the Stone Edge missed. So a little tip for tat. A couple misses on either side. We do like to see it. missing another overheat. That's uh, very unfortunate. Uh, Tentacon just getting a stealth rocks up here. Wow. Two overheat misses. Really unfortunate. Tentacon just getting some health back. Connects on the Stone Edge here. And due to that uh, second missed overheat, the rocks are up now. Really chipping away at Rotom. It's not going to be able to come in again with those rocks up. Can 
next on this overheat though, and that will knock out Santa Conda. And the sandstorm subsides here, so. Unfortunately, the rocks are up. Oracorio can come in on a couple different Pokemon here. Try to clear those rocks. Mm. All Moth comes out. Now, uh, close combat's pretty free. Rotom's basically done, a, done as much as it can, so. Ooh, actually goes for the Volt Switch, and Rotom's gonna survive that. Into Houndoom, who's gonna get a Flash Fire boost here. Tom's kind of outlived its use though. Ooh. Alright. Rotom actually going uh Houndoom actually going with the roar here. We'll have to see what comes out. It's gonna be Tinkaton. Hundu Master has have a fire attack though, right? I just don't think anything really wants to switch in here. Uh, Houndoom might think that Tinkaton's gonna swap out and go for another roar. Okay, so there is the flamethrower. Not enough though, Tink Tinkaton's so bulky, rock slide. Gonna get the knockout. The Tinkaton does take a lot of damage, but is able to get the knockout here. All of Denver's Pokemon still alive. Uh, Oracorio definitely wants to come in and get rid of these rocks, though. Palmac comes back out. Um, could go for a Volt Switch, maybe. Or a Thunder Punch. Quagsire probably was a better go-to here. Um, could also just go for close combat, trying to get damage. It's gonna be a Thunder Punch though. Gonna knock out Tinkaton. Uh, very brazen with those electric attacks. So that's going to. Ooh, we're gonna go with Oracorio. Which I don't mind. But you got you gotta use these opportunities. Try and try and get off these defogs. I'm just gonna swap out. Into a Spothra.
could come all down to this. Quagsire's got to try to do what it can. Ooh, I thought they were going to swap out. Scared of the Quagsire. Into Lorantis. Gets the poison off. Slash gun. Take out Rotom. on Lorantis. Uh, risky business here though because Dragapult invites in Palmont, but that's probably the best case. is the best mid ground for Denver. Again, they don't want Quagsire to take a lot of damage. So Cam risk trying to go into close combat. I'm being quiet, my, uh, again, I'm lower that I was recording this, and my son woke up, so I'm trying to keep quiet. Trying to maybe get him to fall back asleep. I don't know, I might have to run upstairs. Oof, that was big damage. 
on the stored power. for some defense drops. Nope. I mean, Espathra has the opportunity here. Door power is just going to keep getting stronger. Here's a defense drop, though. Sword power takes out Quag. Will the toxic be enough? Take out a Spothra, it does. Dragapult with the Surf, Terra Water against Terra Fire is enough to take out Iron Bundle. A last minute ticking down here. Palmod is Scarf. Post Combat. Knocks out Dragapult. Rasmusation breaking, wasting our animation time. Battle runs out. Okay, let's let's do some calcs here. Do some calcs. Um, Yeah, 
let's see what Max defense, max HP, Based on this, looks like Oricorio would have won. Um, if it's Jolly, I think with the defense drops, because close combat's only doing um, if they're jolly, only doing 25 to 29 um, percent. Yeah, it yeah it wasn't even a four hit. Uh, it wasn't even a three hit KO, even if they're adamant. So yeah, so Denver looks like they pulled that one out. Uh, sucks to have it go down timer, but is what it is. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more playoff action. Stay classy, society.